Welcome to Electron Online. In this example, we're going to look at a composite wire. We have three pieces of wire joined together, making a triangle, and we're trying to find the center mass of these three wires joined together. We're going to use the very same methodologies we do for plates. In this case, instead of adding up the, the coordinates of each wire, multiply times the area of the plate. Here we're going to multiply the coordinate of each wire, multiply times the length of each wire. The reason why we do that is we assume that the wires have uniform density, uniform thickness, and so the mass per unit length for the wires remains the same throughout the entire wire. Therefore, it's better to use length than mass because it's easier to work with. So what we're saying here is that for, let's say, the x direction, the the, uh, coordinate, the x coordinate of the center mass of the three wires joined together is equal to the sum of the x coordinate of each wire piece multiplied times the length of each wire. And so we're going to then in, not integrate but sum over the three wires, i equals 1 to 3, and then we divide that by the sum of the length of all the wires, i equals 1 to 3. So we're going to sum up the length of all three wires together, just like we did with the area for a plate. Let's apply that methodology now to the wire system and see what happens. The x, the x coordinate is equal to the... In order to do that, we need a coordinate system, don't we? Let's put the y coordinate line over there and the x coordinate line over here. So that's the x axis. There's the y axis. So there's the origin. So we have a point of reference. The center mass of the vertical wire would be right halfway in between. The center mass of the horizontal wire here will be right half in between. And the center mass of the slanted wire here will be right above the center mass of the, ver of the horizontal wire. And it will be at the same height as the vertical wire. But then we have to take care of that, of course, in the length. The length here will be a little bit longer than the length is over there. So the x-coordinate is equal to the x-coordinate of the first piece. And let's go ahead and put that in what that is. Let's mark them. This is piece number one, piece number two, and piece number three. So the three pieces of wire form the whole triangle. In the x direction, the coordinate would be zero because it's right along the y-axis. And the length of the wire is 10 centimeters. Plus, for the second wire here, the coordinate would be halfway from there to there. That would be 15 centimeters. And the length of the wire is 30 plus the coordinate in the x direction for the slanted wire also is 15 centimeters and the length of that wire would be 31.6 centimeters. I use Pythagorean theory, theory up here to determine the length of the slanted wire. That's the hypotenuse of that triangle. We still have to find everything by the length, the sum of the lengths of the three wires. That would be 10 centimeters plus 30 centimeters plus 31.6 centimeters. So what do we get? 0 times 10 is 0, that would be 450 plus 15 times 31.6. We get 924 in the numerator divided by the denominator gives us 40, that would be 71.6. 70, 71.6. And when we divide one by the other, the x coordinate for the center mass of those three wires is 12.9 centimeters. Now we do the same for the y direction. So the y coordinate of the center mass is equal to the sum of all the y coordinates of each individual wire in the y direction times the length of each wire. So we sum that up from i equals 1 to 3, there's three wires, divided by the sum of all the lengths of the individual wires, i equals 1 to 3. And plug in the numbers. In the y direction, the first wire the center of mass would be at 5 centimeters, and the length of the wire is 10 centimeters. Plus, the y coordinate center mass of the bottom wire right here is right along the x-axis. Therefore, the y coordinate is 0 times the length of 30 plus, and the height of this would be the same as the height of this, height of 5 centimeters. That's the y coordinate center mass of the slanted wire times the length of 31.6 centimeters. And the whole thing is divided by the sum of all the lengths. Again, that would be 10 plus 30 plus 31.6. So the y coordinate is equal to, if we multiply this out, we get 50 plus 
5 times 31.6, that's 208 in the numerator, divided by 71.6 in the denominator. That gives us 2.9 centimeters, 2.9 centimeters in the y direction. So the coordinates of the center mass of these three wires together in the x direction, 12.9 centimeters, the y direction, 2.9 centimeters, right about there somewhere, there's the center of mass. So the center of mass is equal to coordinates, coordinate system wise for the x direction, we get 12.9 centimeters. For the y direction, we get 2.9 centimeters. And that's how we find the center mass of a wire system like this with individual piece of wires welded together or fixed together. And then we have to find the center mass of all of them as one piece. And that's how that's done.